Have you ever had someone explain grammar to you? Maybe you had a slip of the tongue and a know-it-all friend of yours didn't hesitate to point out your mistake. Or maybe you were learning a new language and your teacher told you how to pronounce a certain letter in different contexts. Chances are, these people gave you linguistic rules that went something like, oh, this one. Plural S sounds like S after voiceless consonants, but like Z after voiced consonants. Rules like this one are supposed to tell you how the language works. And what's more, they're not supposed to be broken. A paradigm called optimality theory takes issue with this approach. Instead of applying unbreakable rules to language, optimality theory contends that viable, competing constraints do a better job of explaining how language works. Before we take a peek at the guts of this model, let's get a sense of the difference between a rule-based and a constraint-based approach. Say you have a very principled friend who lives life by a bunch of rules she really sticks to. One of those rules is don't stay up late. Another friend of yours doesn't have a rule like this, but does have a bunch of preferences and demands on her time, things like get enough sleep and play video games for fun. The first friend expects her rule to be followed, never broken, so it's inviolable. The second friend has a list of constraints. She ranks the constraints by priority, sleep above games. A situation arises. Both friends are invited to an all-night game fest. The first friend checks her rule. The plan doesn't pass, so the outcome is she doesn't go. The second friend compares her constraints, and since she can't sleep and play games, going to sleep violates the low rank constraint, while playing video games violates the high rank constraint. She chooses the best outcome, the optimal candidate, going to sleep. Both friends ended up sleeping, so our debate isn't over the outcome, it's about the process. Optimality theory claims to be a better model even for what the first friend is doing in this situation. Well, at least when we take it back to language. So the same goes when we consider the input bag plus plural s with constraints like match voicing and keep the sounds identical. We could end up choosing between the candidates bags and bags. What's the output going to be? Since the pronunciation bags incurs the least serious violations here, it's our optimal candidate. Other candidates might do even worse, like if we added bagv. This little evaluation table here gets called a tableau in optimality theory. Notice one more time that the constraints are ranked and viable. It's also proposed that there's a constant tension between markedness constraints, ones that shape words and sounds, and faithfulness constraints, ones that keep words and sounds the same. I just wanted to leave you with the gist of the basics of optimality theory. I'm sure you have other competing constraints on your own time, so thanks for taking a moment to learn with me.